Hey guys, it's been a long time since we've seen record rainfall like that. More than three inches in Phoenix on just that day alone and more in other parts of the valley, all from remnants of a hurricane. As soon as I walked out of the apartment, the water was up to my knees. McKenna Behan remembering the rain ravaging her brand new Toyota Corolla. I walked over to my car. I was like, Looked soon as I looked at it, hysterically crying, didn't know what to do. Like any 19 year old, she admits the first thing she did during the storm of the century. I like, called my dad. It's like, Dad, my car is flooded. He's like, Okay, well, you can't go to school. You need to call your school. Call my school. And they're like, Oh, the school's canceled anyways. All the freeways are closed. With several inches of rain falling, flooding was a familiar sight everywhere you looked, especially on I 10 in West Phoenix. It was insane. I've never seen us close every freeway. I remember the 60 being closed. I remember the 10 being closed. We couldn't go anywhere. Valley highways completely underwater, stranding drivers and even school buses soaked and swimming in the streets. And the damage lingered long after the rain stopped. It took like a week for it to get dry for me to be able to use it. I couldn't and it smelled terrible for the rest of the time. It smelled like rainwater on old fabric or like dirty dog or something. Wouldn't you know it, the Corolla survived this storm, and while McKenna misses the rain, she doesn't miss the record rainfall we saw back then. In Phoenix, Rachel Cole, 12 News.